Well, it's scary and dangerous. On many of the state's two-lane roads, passing a semi can be a white-knuckle ride, but a brand new technology could change that. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart shows you how it works. Dean, this is it. Samsung is working on a safety truck prototype. It has a camera attached to the front of it, which allows drivers behind the truck to essentially see through what's normally a massive blind spot. Big trucks can often be a big blind spot for drivers. Well, there's plenty of times where I've tried to pass and I think it's clear and you can't really get over far enough to see. When you cut in front of a semi, they can't really stop as quick as we can. But Samsung may have a solution. This is how it works. A wireless camera attached to the front of a truck live streams the trucker's view onto four video monitors on the back. Be a lot safer than just blindly going around a truck. I think it could work out. Johnny Johnson is with the New Mexico Trucking Association. I think it's going to save a lot of lives. He says giving drivers the all clear to pass, especially on two lane roads, will keep people from tailing trucks, making it safer for everyone. If you can relieve the, the bottleneck, you can relieve the accident. Most drivers we talk to say they believe the technology will be beneficial, but there are a few who brought up the concern about distracted driving. It is pretty interesting, but I don't know about that. It's like, wouldn't you get dis I don't know, I would get distracted by driving. Samsung tested the technology on one truck in Argentina, but it's no longer on the road. When ready, it might take some adjusting to. I'm sure at the very beginning, people would be kind of like blown away, like, oh my God, there's like a 63-inch TV on the back of this semi. Wow factor aside, the idea is to help save lives. Technology is definitely catching up, and this is actually a very good thing. New Mexico State Police told us they respond to a lot of distracted driving accidents. We asked them if they think this technology would help cut down on crashes, but they couldn't say since it hasn't been put to the test here. Back to you. All right, Gabby, thank you. Now, you won't see these high-tech rigs on the roads anytime soon. That project is still in the early prototype phase.